Yo, what's happening guys? King GBL here and welcome back to some Spring Cup. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing with Steady Cash in the Spring Cup, which is quite an uncommon pick and not something that you would think would be particularly good. However, I just recognised that there were a lot of teams completely disrespecting Mud Boys and the one really amazing thing about Whiskash is, if you can get shields down, you can also run Blizzard on this Pokemon which will absolutely one-shot most grass types in this meta. So I had an absolute ton of fun with this team. We were destroying Tentacruels, destroying Lanterns which have become very popular, and of course things like Tropius taking double super effective damage from Blizzard, and uh, even things like Trevenant getting completely one-shot. This Pokemon was actually quite a lot of fun to use. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing two different teams. The first team here is with Tropius, and the second team is with Trevenant. So if you don't have access to a Tropius, you definitely can run Trevenant in its place. I tried it with Dunplof, didn't quite work out that well, because you kind of do need the fast move pressure with this Pokemon. For me personally, I had a good time with Tropius, but I just felt Trevenant was a little bit better, just because of the fast move pressure of Shadow Claw. And of course, Shadow Ball basically hits everything in this meta, with the exception of Arboliva. Uh, shout out to whoever commented that yesterday. Anyway guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, we're only 13 subs away from 4k here. It's been an amazing year. I've been uploading content on this channel for just around a year. And the support between uh, people checking out the videos, commenting, joining Discord. Showing a lot of love and support in the videos and streams. Um, people who've been gifting research and everything. Big thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. It's all very much appreciated. I'm definitely very grateful and very proud of what we've done here. And as we're about to hop into the video, we do land a huge nuke on the Tropius. In this video, I landed so many blizzards. This team was a ton of fun. And hopping into the gameplay, we do get a fair foreign lead for the first match. And with this lead in particular, I do like to stay in. Basically because we are ABA weak to it. Whiskash does not want to see this. And in the zeros, this is fairly close. This is a fairly positive matchup for Fairforn. Um, they don't run Thunder, so I'm pretty happy to let these moves go. If they do happen to be in Thunder, it could be a little bit troublesome. But what I like to do here is just throw the second move off on CMP. Um, every time I play this team, the opponent done the exact same thing here. If you do land that, you can shield farm it down potentially and look to take alignment. But generally speaking, we're happy with this. Um, the opponent swaps into a Tentacruel and we come into the Wistady Cash here. Now, one thing you might want to consider is Wistcash Shadow. Shadow Wiscash can double shot a uh, Fairforn, and it does a lot more fast move pressure and can hit a lot harder in the tent is. Um, with Blizzard being such a hard hitting move, you don't need the extra damage for that. And um, right here, the opponent only goes for an Acid Spray, so I'm more than happy to let this move go. And we're basically going to farm up to 100 energy. I could potentially go for a slight under farm here, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, not quite enough, and the opponent comes into a Pelipper. We're going to go for this next move immediately. This Blizzard will do heavy damage and should hopefully put it into a farm down range for the Tropius. At this point, guys, we do have uh, two shields. We go for the move immediately, uh, trying to force the opponent's final. And at this stage, there's just not a whole lot they can do. The Furforn's on low health, they're dry on energy. And we'll hop into the next one here, the opponent top left. Dugong lead, once again, we pretty much have to stay in against this thing. We're ABA weak to it. Tropius does not want to see this thing in the back. So typically, the playstyle here is to eat a move. Sometimes they go for Icy Wind, sometimes they go for Drill Run. Regardless, you can live a move either way, as you can see and we can get off the second move no matter what. So no matter what, we'll always get off two moves in this matchup, and that basically puts it into a low range. Now in this case, the opponent decided to shield up, and I think they do end up going for an Icy Wind right here, which doesn't quite KO, which is a little bit unfortunate. They get a little bit of extra farm. And what I like to do here is just use this as a good opportunity for Whiskash to get a ton of energy. If you can farm up beyond a Blizzard and up a shield, you're usually in a pretty good position here. So Icy Wind coming in, kind of unfortunate. They will get to a second move here. So I decided to CMP in the second move, not wanting to get double debuffed, not wanting to take a ton of damage. I could have maybe committed the farm down and the opponent comes into a Tropius. We go for this immediately, four and fro. The opponent's one off the move, will they respect it? They absolutely do not, and they come into a Tentacruel. Now because I was debuffed, I decided to swap out. The matchup between Tropius and Tentacruel is not that bad, unless the opponent's running Sludge Bomb. The opponent goes for Acid Spray, and you're going to see here basically that these moves plus the Air Slashes will pretty much take it out. I think if you land two of these, you pretty much take it out. I go for this next move immediately, not wanting to go for a CMP tie or anything like that. Um, I want to just get this damage through. And at this point, guys, we can look to come in with Whiskash. We're only free off the move. We CMP here on a potential Scald. Definitely going to shield this move up. And the opponent only has a low health Dugong remaining, so that's good games well played. Um, Whiskash putting on a bit of a show towards the end. Just the blizzards just go so hard. <laughs> the blizzards go super hard. Um, again, you're going to see a few more of these. Uh, we even get off a last second Mud Bomb. The opponent was on free Air Slashes, so I just needed to make sure I could get off a Mud Bomb. Um, which you definitely can in this situation, and yeah, good games well played. I'm not sure if the opponent fought because I was debuffed that they wouldn't take a lot of damage, but the blizzard just does so much. The opponent counter swaps a poly, and this is kind of awkward here. You're going to see that this is kind of tricky, actually. Tropius, this is, I think, why I switched out to Trevenant, because Tropius, of course, this does win the matchup technically, but the opponent can just icy win for you, which is kind of annoying. Um, we're going to play this out a little bit, and I think what I end up deciding to do is go for the shield advantage Whiskash. 
And the looks of things, Polygraph can take this matchup with Mudshot. I mean, I think if I just shield up this move, I get to the next, uh, next um, Leaf Blade. I didn't want to risk it. I decide, okay, they're on Mudshot. Doesn't do that much damage. The opponent goes for a nasty underfarm, which is kind of annoying here in this situation. So I think what I end up deciding to do is coming into the Apoleon, I will respect a potential dynamic punch here. Um, I sort of regret shielding this because I normally do like letting it go and just trusting Whiskash up a shield. We do get off this move before they get to the next uh, Icy Wind or Dynamic Punch and we'll basically look to see what they want to do. They come into Lantern, we come into this and they come into a Trevenant. Just super unfortunate guys, um, I really should have just saved the shield. Had I saved the shield, I probably could have won this match. I should have just let the Empoleon go. Um, I would have been able to get a bunch of farm of Whiskash and then basically go for a Blizzard. So good games there and we do have another Tentacruel lead. Tentacruel lead is very good for this team. This whole team, I believe, can be Tenta, so we're definitely very happy to see this thing. I'm happy to get Shield Advantage, and basically come in with Whiskash, get a bunch of energy, and quite often times, Tentacruel lead uh, is Double Grass Backline. So we're going to overfarm here, um, I do pause the turn to make sure they don't go for a catch here, and yeah, the opponent actually lets that move through. So they're making this kind of awkward for me, um, they do win the zeros here by the looks of things, Skull coming in, and yeah, it's Whiskash time, we're going to try to farm this the whole way down. This is going to be a lot of energy, the opponent does not get off a move. And quite surprisingly here, they come into the Fish of Death. Little, little Bruxish, I hate this Pokemon. You guys know I hate these Pokemon, these little confusion users. We come into Trevenant, or sorry, not Trevenant, Tropius. And because Tropius is quite bulky, um, we can just easily tank the Psychic Fangs, we don't have to worry about it. In comes a Lantern. We go for free and throw for good timing. And yeah, we should be basically plain sailing at this point. Um, one Leaf Blade, of course, does about 45-50%. And um, we're going to need to throw two moves, basically. But at this stage, like, yeah, they go for a Surf Bait, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to get these moves off, and I'm basically going to let the uh, Tropius go, I think. Oh, the opponent lets that move go, and yeah, this is basically curtains for them. We get this Leaf Blade off. Bruxish is super glassy, and I've got a ton of energy on Whiskash. We get this move off, go for one and for a good timing here. And there's not really a move they can throw that can one-shot me. They can go for Crunch if they want to. It's not going to make a difference. The opponent realizes that, yeah, it's pretty much curtains for them. And once again, in the next match, we do have another Dugong lead. We're going to stay in here, we're going to see how the opponent plays it out. Opponents do go for debuffs sometimes, but generally speaking, they go for the big move. So for whatever reason, if you decide that you want to play this a little bit differently, um, it's a pretty safe shield. They more often than not go for the move, but they do go for Icy Wind this time. So that's kind of why I don't like shielding it. I know I love the move. I know I can get two moves off, and I know I can be in a good position here. I should still live this move, but it might be a little bit tricky trying to get to another one. If the opponent stays in here, I might get this one off, but they do go for a Snipe with Farathorn. So nice play by the opponent. We come into Tropius. Once again, I do quite enjoy this matchup of Trevenant, just because if you land a move, you can basically farm them the whole way down. Um, they can technically just tank moves here. They don't have to uh, shield this up. So that's kind of like the more frustrating thing about this matchup. Earliases don't really do that much damage. I'm going to go for a second one, and if this one goes through, I should hopefully be able to farm it down. The one goes for another Flash Cannon. Um, these moves hit it pretty hard, of course, but like we definitely tank that very well. We're going to farm this thing the whole way down. So it is a very positive matchup for Tropius. And the opponent comes into a Tentacruel. We're going to bring in Whiskash. And like an in suffering Andy, we're going to get this move off. We should be in a pretty decent position here. We banked a ton of energy. The only thing I have to watch out for is the catch. But to be honest with you guys, I was fairly happy with this. I knew that even if they caught, I was basically in a fine position. I did go for an over farm. The opponent was miscounting. And I guess went one over or they decided to go one over one of the two. Um, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We can basically just uh, shield this move up or not shield it. Um, they do go for Acid Spray. I'm going to build up to back to back. Fire both moves off. And I do believe we've got about 5 or 6 air slashes on the Tropius here. So we should be fine. Get the second move off. Boom. And, you know, even if they, you know, decide to get this move off right here on the Tropius. Even if they manage to take us out, we can just mudshot it down. So this is pretty much curtains here. We go for the CMP time. Good game, well played. Um, so yeah, I guess the bulk of Tropius is kind of coming in clutch, right? Had that been a Trevenant, that would have been a little bit trickier. Tentacruel, fantastic lead here for the Empoleon, and just for this team in general, we love to see this. Now, one thing we don't love to see is the uh, Dugong. Now, I end up throwing this on suboptimal timing. Um, if you throw this immediately when they come in, it ends up being good timing. You can get your basically uh, six Steel Wings into their four on good timing. So if you ever get that situation where Dugong counter swaps you, throw the move off immediately on six, um, or you know, if, even if it's not immediately, right, just throw the move off on six, and that'll be good timing. The opponent ends up getting off a move, I decide, okay, we're going to try to shield farm down, put the Whiskash on the Tenta, very dominant matchup. It's still not too straightforward, because this is a Shadow, and it will of course do a lot of damage. I should hopefully get a shield back, but the opponent will get uh, a huge energy lead. So we're in a decent enough position still. We can still take this matchup with Whiskash, the opponent's not up a shield anymore. And yeah, I kind of decided here, like, if they do go for a big skull, it's going to hurt. It'll do probably like 50-60%, and the opponent comes into a Trevenant. We're going to go immediately for this big move. 
you're either going to shield this or get absolutely nuked. The opponent lets it through, comes back in with the tentacruel. However, this match is not over yet. You're going to find out that Shadow Tenta can do a lot of work here. We do, of course, get the final shield with this. And I do try to go for a catch on the Tropius. Unfortunately, that gives the opponent the perfect opportunity to overform. They're going to farm up to, uh, of course, the Sludge Wave. And unfortunately, they just have so much energy that we end up losing CMP. Now, the question is, do we live this move? This is a Shadow Scald. Unfortunately, we don't live it. I checked it and it does 46%. So that match was super, super close. That, that only barely KO'd us there. Um, in comes Lantern. And yeah, this is pretty decent for Tropius, actually. Um, we're pretty much fine with this. This is kind of another reason why I kind of liked Trevenant. Um, I do think Trevenant is slightly better into Lantern. But, I mean, both of these matches are pretty dominant. The opponent starts shielding here, and they come into the Rosaried. I go for this move immediately, knowing that they'll basically IPS me. But the opponent actually shields, so we're in a huge position now. Um, we farm it into a pretty decent range. I decide here, I've got two shields. I've got Whiskash, I've got Blizzard, I've got Mud Bombs. I'm coming into Empoleon. I am sacrificing it to the Poke Gods, but the opponent decides, you know what? I'm going to Master Bait here. And they go for that move. And I'm still saying to myself, like, I'm still sacrificing this. They go for the Grass Knot. Now, regrettably here, I do shield a Fireball. Um, this is only a Fireball. To be fair, when I'm streaming, my counting is always a little bit off point. I just thought, better safe than sorry. But the opponent comes back into the Lantern, indicating that they may be very weak to Whiskash in the back. They come into Lantern, they don't even throw off the move and we go for a slide over farm. What has the opponent got in the back that they don't want to see Whiskash? We're going to find out here very shortly. The opponent comes into a Trevenant down a shield. And ladies and gents, I'm sure you can see what's coming here. Big Blizzard coming through. We've seen it once already. This is going to absolutely one-shot the Trevenant. Good games well played. And Whiskash is a Trevenant counter confirmed. And in the next game we have a Fairthorn lead. We're going to play this out as normal. We're basically going to throw in good timing. And um, we're going to CMP the second move. And pretty much go for farm down. If you wanted to be ultra aggressive, you could farm it down with Whiskash, but I do think they'll definitely get off a move and you will take a lot of damage as a result from the Bullet Seeds. Even though Bullet Seeds is not the hardest hitting move, it is double super effective, so it might be a little bit hard to do, especially if they shield this move. Um, it's definitely not a thing you can do, so we're going to safely let this move go. We're going to come into our Trevenant this time, but the opponent goes for Mirror Shot. Um, I actually stay in here. I could have counter swapped Trevenant a lot faster there, but if a Boomer Swap, I didn't really know what to go into straight away. The opponent doesn't even build up to the Hurricane, so I'm happy to let this go. I'm going to build it all the way up to the Shadow Ball and look to basically YOLO it. Once again, the opponent is going for Weather Ball. I think I should go for Seed Bombs here, but I think I only get to one move, so I'm happy enough to go for Shadow Ball. Boom, the opponent shields it and we come into Whiskash. It is now two shield Whiskash time. Now the opponent builds up here. I think I do respect this and the opponent actually YOLOs the Hurricane. Absolutely insane stuff here. They come back into Fairforn and it's time for me to start YOLOing moves. I'm not going to take any unnecessary damage. Boom. Goodbye to Fairforn there. And let's have a look to see what comes back in. They come back in with the Pelipper. Could it be the opponent's very, very weak to this? Now, I know the opponent only threw four wing attacks, so I'm happy to let the Water Ball go. And we're going to like to throw this move off immediately before they get to the next one. Once again, this Blizzard is going to look to absolutely one shot the Pelipper. Goodbye. And it's none other than the Pokey AK mascot, Mawel, in the back. This Mud Bomb does not quite one shot, but it's going to put it into a farm down range. You're seeing here Whiskash up shields, just swept an entire team of Fairforn, Mawel, and Pelipper. Very, very good games well played here. They go for Power Punch. I'm happy enough to shield it up. I could let it go, farm it down with uh, Trevenant. Wouldn't really matter at that point. Tentacruel lead. Once again, we're very happy to see this. And um, we can just basically stay in. But we do have three answers to this. And actually, this is why I, I switched to Trevenant now that I think about it. Tentacruel lead. Just being sort of like a little bit ABI weak to it with Tropius. Kind of forced me to stay in always. And I kind of do like being able to swap out of here. Now, arguably, I should be going for bait in this situation. Because by going for Shadow Ball... I give the opponent license to farm me the whole way down, basically. Because as you can see, you can just about reach two moves in this matchup. So potentially, I could have got off uh, a Seed Bomb and a Shadow Ball at the end. Or just basically force the opponent for energy. I decide once again, it's time for Whiskash up shields. We're going to throw in the Penguin. Um, this thing's getting super low. I assume they have some sort of an answer for Penguin. They go for Weller Ball first. Um, shout out to somebody in the chat who said it's 55 energy for uh, Energy Ball. So they can perfectly store a Weller Ball and an energy ball they cannot store two the opponent comes into a trevenant are they going to respect the blizzard here i go for the mud bomb bait and i think what i decide to do here is go for oh i don't go for an undercharge so that's a misplay right there had he went for a bit of an undercharge i could have farmed that down now this time because the opponent seen me baiting i'm going to go for the blizzard here the opponent does respect it and even though we've got two shields the opponent's over farm quite a lot this is going to be super super close here they go for the first seed bomb They've built up to, yeah, back-to-back -back seed bombs, unfortunately. So, this will come down to CMP tie, which, of course, Trevenant wins. I did think they were one-off, but unfortunately, the opponent just IPS me. So, definitely, had I got one more mud shot on the uh, Tenta, just a slight undercharge would have given me one more, and I would have won the match. So, yeah, a little bit better energy management wins that game. 
good games to the opponent there. Once again, we have the Fish of Death here, and the opponent's actually staying in for a while, which is kind of suspicious. Um, all of my Pokemon beat this thing, so I'm pretty happy here. Um, I decide to respect a crunch, and it'll do a decent amount of damage. And the opponent eventually comes into a fair form. I decide to store my energy and come into the Trevenant. I go for a CMP tie, a little bit of a risky CMP. If the opponent goes for an overfarm, it could be a little bit hard for me there. The opponent does go for CMP, and I decide like this is only going to be a flash cannon. I highly doubt they beat in this situation, especially because they let the move go. Um, we can farm this thing the whole way down, come out with a bunch of energy, and we can even one and throw in the Bruxish. So we should be in a pretty decent position. If the opponent shields here, and we can basically look to take care of it with Penguin, but I think we're just going to see what's in the back. Boom, the opponent lets it through. They come into an Obama Snow, I come into Penguin, and we already have uh, like a move and a half stored, so this should be basically game over. Empoleon wins CMP here, so yeah, good games to the opponent. Not a whole lot they could have done, um, just Empoleon versus their whole team is quite decent, so they just didn't really have a good answer to this. We have another Tentacruel lead. You know, I tried running Whiskash in the lead because I've seen a lot of Tentacruel leads, but it just didn't really work out that well in the lead. I do definitely recommend uh, tucking it away in the back. The opponent counter swaps a Trevenant, and I think I'm going to get off this move and basically bring in my own. Um, I'm going to go immediately for the Seed Bomb. I decide to basically shield this move up. The opponents, I think, one off or two off a Seed Bomb, and maybe one or two off a Seed Bomb, so I decide to throw off this move immediately. Look to take them out and look to take alignment. Basically, we can get off a Shadow Ball on the Tentacruel, and we can align our Whiskash to it, so we're in a very good position here. Uh, once again, this is non-Shadow, so the Scald and the Charge moves are a little bit less scary. Now, I could have got to two Seed Bombs, so I think I need to start baiting a little bit more often. Um, I think what I decide to do here is come into Penguin, absorb the damage, and then we'll most likely look to come into the uh, Whiskash. Up a Shield and up Energy, we should be basically fine. The opponent comes into a Roserade, and this is going to be absolute curtains for them. The opponent goes for a CMP Tie here. This is not going to be enough for the Grass Knot or Leaf Storm. They only farmed up to 7. We're going to go for a Blizzard. This is going to, of course, one shot probably like 3 of these Pokemon. I'm going to check to see how much that does. It actually does 144%. 144%. So that's good games. And once again, we're just one shotting another Grass type in the back. This game we have an Empoleon. Um, we're going to look to basically stay in here and go for Hydro Cannon immediately. We fire this move off immediately and we'll see what the opponent wants to do. They decide to let the move go. I'm, of course, going to let it go as well. And I think what I'm going to decide to do here, the opponent's kind of avoiding the first CMP. I'm going to go for a catch on the second one. I'm not looking to play it that way. And the opponent comes into a Trevenant. Simul Swap. I'm going to go immediately for the Seed Bomb on CMP Tie here. Um, of course, both building up to the Shadow Ball. I am expecting this to be a bait, but I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, we sort of want to get this thing a little bit lower. If I can land a Seed Bomb on it and take alignment, I can basically put my um, Whiskash on the Penguin, which would be a pretty decent position to be in. And hopefully Whiskash can just do whatever it wants to do in the back. The opponent comes into our Roserade here. Very, very interesting. So we've got a move banked on this already. I do a little bit of an overfarm, go for the move immediately. And I think what we're going to look to do is go straight into Whiskash. Of course, I will be happy to respect the uh, Leaf Storm. If the opponent goes for it, I'll definitely just like pace. Yeah, they go for Weather Ball. Makes sense that they're baiting in that situation. And I'm going to go for a Mud Bomb. Um, Roserade is too glassy and this is neutral. That it almost takes them out. They're one off the move. They're not going to make the move, unfortunately, for them. Um, they go for a Drill Peck in this situation. I guess they just came in and spammed a move or whatever. So, yeah, good games there. This Mud Bomb will take them out. Um, even if the opponent somehow does get to the move, we still have a healthy Pokemon in the back. So, we're basically chilling. Good games. The opponent quit their app. You definitely love making opponents rage quit. I mean, if I lost with a Double Grass backline to a Mud Boy, I might be slightly upset as well. Hopping on to the next one here, we do have a Trevenant lead. So, this is kind of an awkward matchup. Trevenant can win that. And they come into a Dugong. Now, you're seeing here I make the adaptation. I throw in good timing. If you throw immediately when they swap in, that is good timing. And yeah, we're going to look to basically stay in this matchup. The opponent goes for a pretty decent overfarm. I'm going to let this move go. And the opponent does go for a drill run. I'm going to go for this move here on, I believe, CMP time. If the opponent shields, I'm pretty happy with that. I will just come in with uh, Whiskash and farm it down. And because the opponent will still be switch locked, I decide to come into Trevenant. I'll hard swap into it. The opponent's still locked in here. I'm going to look to go for a seed bomb immediately. The opponent, of course, will build up to the Shadow Ball. But I know that in this matchup, I don't need to land this move. Yeah, sure, you can let it go. And I decide... I can probably mud shot this down low key or like just steal wing it down. I'm very, very happy with this. We farm each other down and we just basically need to hope it's something good for us in the back. However, it is a polyrath and they're on mud shot. I get a one turn bring in. So I thought this is only going to be a pop. Turns out to be an icy wind because I, I was only getting to my move there. It is straight five for icy wind. So I should have got six mud shots there. But of course, this game is fantastic. I do see MP like an absolute potato here. And yeah, we're just in shambles at this point, basically. Um, I do outpace a little bit to these Mud Bombs, and the opponent's on Mud Shot. Um, I have misplayed this match somewhat, but we might still be okay. We go for a catch on Empoleon. We do get off the move, and that could be vital. Honestly, I'm happier that this thing's on Mud Shot than Counter. Polyrath with Shields Up, with Counter and Icy Wind, is just such a nightmare. 
Um, I decide to not respect the move. It's smart of them to go for a double dynamic punch, but again, this is what's hurting them, not having the fast move pressure. I can actually make it to two move bombs. We win this game by the skin of our teeth. And I am starting to see a lot more Mudshot polys. Do let me know in the comments uh, section down below uh, what are your thoughts on that Pokemon. But I am seeing every time I face it or every time I've seen it, it has some pretty interesting play. And the pacing advantage with Mudshot, it's not to be completely slept on, it's actually quite an interesting pick. You get to Icy Wind in 5. So imagine the opponent uh, like counter swaps a Trevenant or a Roserade. You're spamming out Icy Winds, like you're not doing any damage to those things with counter anyway. So maybe that's quite a decent pick. I may try that at some point. And we go for a CMP, a CMP Toy charge attack priority event and as always the opponent shields um this time we have trevenant of course and we're going to come in and just get an absolutely nasty farm the opponent says no thank you and comes into a shadow tenta we're going to meet the shadow tenta with a mud bomb and this is going to absolutely ruin them once again this is where shadow would be a little bit better i think shadow and shadow that's a one shot basically or they don't get to a scald at the very least the opponent goes for a sludge wave so they might be on blizzard or they might be on acid spread like double poison move set quite an interesting one um, I think you do want Scald and Tentum. I think it's just such a good move. Even when resisted, it's still very, very useful. Now, the opponent comes back into the far forward. I'm going to YOLO the nuke, get rid of them. I probably could just go for Mud Bomb at that point, but the opponent does come into a Dugong. So, this is getting a little bit tricky now. My Trevenant just gets absolutely destroyed by this thing. I decide to try to go for CMP. The opponent goes for an Overfarm. So, debatably, that's a mistake. I just do need to get my damage off here. Now, I think what I decide to do is get the shield down if possible, or bank this move, or get you know get myself close to the move. I end up getting a CMP tie on the Trevenant, so this could be very vital. Um, I just realized I needed uh, some health on my, my Whiskash. Trevenant by itself cannot deal with this. We're going to try our best to get off another move. Unfortunately, we don't, and we just really need to get to this Mud Bomb. We've cleared our debuff. This is going to be super, super close. Well, as KO, we do get the pop-up on the bottom right, um, the spoiler alert on the bottom right. But yeah, I think that was very, very close. I think that came down to 1 HP. Uh, Dugong here, we're just going to stand against it. So yeah, generally speaking, like we weren't getting any horrible leads for this. Um, didn't see a lot of lanterns today, which of course is quite a good thing. Um, I have started seeing more Mudboys in the lead in general recently. So yeah, if I seen a, a Mudboy lead, that could be very awkward. Um, but generally speaking, today this went very well. I went, I think, I played 23 matches with this team in this order. And I won, I think, 14 of them. I definitely could have won, like, three or four more matches had my energy management uh, been a little bit better. Or had I just got a little bit more lucky. I definitely do recommend this team. Um, I think, you know, of course, mud boys are just not what you would expect in this meta. And there's so many people who are just disrespecting them. The opponent comes into a Trevenant. I bank the move and come into my own Trevenant. I'm trying to convince the opponent that I don't have Blizzard. Because you would think, okay, the guy's got Blizzard, he's going to YOLO it, right? So I'm trying to, like, act weak to that. We come in here. Um, the opponent meets us with a Lantern, so this is pretty decent. And um, I think I'm going to just basically not try to let myself get too low. My thinking here at this point is, if I can just basically chip the opposing Trevenant with my Trevenant, I can pretty much put it into Mud Bomb range. This is absolutely perfect. We get off a Seed Bomb. And yeah, we should be chilling at this point. I'm going to go straight Mud Bomb on this. And we have two shields. I go for the Insta move, just to kind of make it look like we're going for the big move, right? The opponent shits their pants, puts up the shield, and now it's Blizzard time. The opponent did get a cheeky farm down, but it's not going to be enough at this stage. One Blizzard is about to just absolutely knock this tree down. This tree is about to get chopped down, and yeah, this should be good games. Man, the thing about this team is, it's super satisfying to get the wins, but it's a little bit techy in certain cases where it comes down to charge attack priority events quite a lot, or it comes down to one or two fast moves. I think it's a very good team, and I do highly recommend, like I said, trying it out. But just bear in mind, it requires a decent amount of energy management, and if you do see some very horrible team compositions that might be a little bit more uncommon in the meta, it definitely could be a little bit tricky. I decided to swap out a little matchup here, and um, the opponent goes for a Scald. And as you're seeing, like, Scald on a Shadow, it just does so much damage. Now, the opponent knows I've got a Penguin, I have no reason to be it, I can only get off one move here. And I think we're basically going to look to come into Penguin. As always, I'm going to put the sweep on Whiskash. Um, they have a Tenta. If they have a Grass-type in the back, which it is quite likely, the opponent comes into their own Trevenant. I'm going to fire this move off immediately. I don't think I get to two moves, so I just swap straight out of here. I'm trying to get out, I'm trying, I'm trying. But unfortunately, the opponent does get the farm down. We come into a steady cash here, and I do expect the opponent to go for some sort of a catch or some sort of a funny play. Um, you've seen this very similar situation last time. The opponent catches way too early. This time, I get a massive over farm, and I think I do go for a nice uh, move here. This is perfect. We actually get an extra mud shot, and that's just perfect. We're going to get to this move on CMP time. Good games well played. If you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. We're going to absolutely one shot this Trevenant, and like I said, guys, you know, it doesn't seem like it would be a good pick. But Mud Boys definitely do have play, especially ones with uh, Blizzard coverage. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe. Like I said, we're getting super, super close to 4K. 
Big thank you for all the support, it's very much appreciated. We also have a, an absolutely fantastic community in Discord, feel free to join us in there. Uh, let's have a look at the ELO, 23-24, I'm regaining my ELO a little bit, and hopefully when uh, Great League comes back next week, we will be able to play a little bit more, uh, a little bit less RPS metas, but thanks everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all next time.